Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another update on the progress on Emerge NYC. Um, another update was released and of course now you will hear what we can read in the uh, update notes and there is written that this update addresses most of the bugs found during 0.1.2 testing and adds a lot more. The map is beginning to form around the firehouses and we will be continuing to build the map more and more in each update. You can now open all compartments and doors on FDNY trucks by right clicking them. I will be traveling to New York for business tomorrow for a week. I will continue working on fixed bugs, smoothing out gameplay in the interactive tech demos. The rest of the team will be working on something special. On Sunday we will announce this as well as send our standard edition members their Steam keys, lowering the price on Emerge NYC on Steam to $35 and releasing the free interactive demo via Steam. We have had a lot of exciting things to tell you about the future of Emerge NYC. Stay tuned on our social media page. The changelog reads as follows. Clamportations on first person view, ambulance and police handling is much better. Fixed customization menu and vehicles not being in, in sync. All vehicles now have a light bar. All light bars work. All first person views fixed. Engine 49 Wigwax in the rear added changed from flashers for realism. Letter 68 front outriggers being too short. Then the PA300 siren tweaked for realism. Q siren bug fixed. FDNY ambulance lights no longer turn on their own. And you can now hide the HUD by pressing backslash. Message board customization works properly now and the high rise bars can up it can go up and down. And the minimap is no longer invisible and more. So with that said guys, I think we should look first at engine 49. Engine 49 and yes, you can see already that indeed the city starts forming around the firehouses Which is nice to see it gives us an idea of what we can expect from the game And here we have engine 49 and we have wigwags on the back or so they say So let's test the theory Yes, wigwags indeed wigwag wigwag I like engine 49, it is a classic engine. And indeed we can open all compartments. Oh how I look forward to actually being able to... Uh, yeah, to take the stuff out and to actually put it to work. You have no idea. Now, <clears throat> let's look at letter 68. Tower letter 68. It's interesting. I noticed random doors being open. Um, well, we're going to drive the ladder out. Oops, uh, buckle up, no kidding, because otherwise you're going to be falling out of the cab. Actually, we might as well respond to that fire that's now on the map, because that is something else that is fairly new. And that's a fire on 4th Street. Now I have absolutely no earthly idea where that is.
But looks like we're gonna be first due with this. There is no traffic. But that's okay for now, because otherwise our FPS just will completely tank. There's our fire. Right there is our fire. So. Without further ado. We'll get this ladder in to position and then we're gonna get engine 49 and honestly guys I'm not sure what the correct procedure would be how to respond uh, what the correct order would be I have absolutely no clue I am not from New York But I do like the fire. The look of the fire is really nice. We have smoke. We have smoke shown on the second, sorry, third floor. So, yeah. Let's then get the next unit out. We're gonna have a full response here. So, let's go, shall we? Actually, let's get some traffic going. Minimal traffic should be okay. Should, shouldn't hurt us too much in terms of uh, playability. I noticed that the minimap is a little bit out from what what it should be, but that's okay, I think. I am going in all kinds of weird directions here because, yeah. Okay, next up in our lineup of vehicles, I would say we're gonna have engine company 49. Right? Right. And this one we're gonna go third person. And this is really all I can do at the moment with the game. But I think it shows you where it can go. Now, I will tell you guys my concerns with this. The same concerns that I have or had with uh, a 
uh, the same concerns that I have with all firefighting simulators because I actually I made a f close that door please I made uh, a fire simulation in uh, Second Life back then and from that point of view I can speak a little bit about how to program a fire engine to react like fire should behave and I know also what the uh, problems can be And one of the major problems that you always have with fire is, well, I guess it depends how you, uh, how you um, do the math behind it, and whether it's a pixel fire or whether it's uh, it's something completely different, whether it's just particles. But uh, fire is not easy. Fire is really not easy to show realistically and not have a major impact of uh, on the performance and that is one of the concerns that i have right now because right now there's only very limited uh, ai on the road there is no people whatsoever which everybody who ever tried to make a game knows how um, how performance uh, in intensive AI traffic can be, be that now vehicles or be that, um, yeah, be that vehicles or be it, be it uh, persons and persons more so than vehicles. Oh yeah, of course. Of course that happened. Oh no, we're moving. We're not supposed to be moving though. Why are we moving? Oh, nice star. Star. Apparently, I can't talk anymore. That's good.
Yep. Handle, handles a little bit better, for sure. Next up.
So guys, with this picture of uh, the units responding here, I will leave you for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, was something different? Um, I maybe should have showed the ve police vehicles, but I think that's probably going to be an extra episode here sometime soon. And uh, yeah, with all those lights going and the uh, uh, texture's pretty much maxed out right now, I'm getting about 23 fps as you can see it's not the smoothest but it's still it's still doable just to look at all those lights it's worth it i think but uh, yeah thanks so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did then please hit the like button leave me a comment below what you think about the game and until next time it's the northern alex signing off god bless